In this video, I will show you how you too can make the option rule strategy your monthly cash flow machine. I'll do that by showing you exactly how much cash flow we pocketed from trading options in September. I'll also show you two tricks that you can use like we did last month on covered calls and cash secure put options that had gone against us to fix those positions. Using these tricks might enable you to turn losing positions back into winners. Here you see every option trade we did last month in September. If you've been watching my monthly cash flow video series of the past several years, you're going to notice there's a lot more red boxes this month than usual. Now I'm not going to go into detail about every single one of those red boxes, but they are vitally important if you want to be a long-term successful option trader. You see every single one of those red boxes, there's a bunch of them, they're positions that we adjusted as the market turned bearish. Right now it's October of 2022 and we're in a bear market. And as a matter of fact, as you can see from this chart, if you had the traditional portfolio of 60% stocks and 40% bonds, the first three quarters of this year have been the third worst start to the year since 1926. The only two years that were worse than this year was 1931 and 1974. So let's just say that it's been a bad year for the stock market. However, as option traders, these red boxes show that we have the ability to not only generate cash flow in bear markets, but to fix positions that have gone against us. The two bold red boxes are the two trades I'm going to discuss in detail because they are unique ways to fix a covered call and a cash secure put option that have gone against you. I encourage you to stay tuned until the very end because that's where I'll actually show you exactly how much net cash flow we put into our pocket as well as the return that we received from selling options last month. During the trading day, my main focus is not to generate as much cash flow as possible. That's my number two goal and it's an important goal. However, my main focus, especially when the markets are turning down, is to make sure that long term we're putting ourselves in the best position to win. Let me show you what I mean. Here you see all the trades we've done in Verizon, ticker symbol VC, in our main option trading account over the past couple of years. Notice that we had a nice long series of cash secure put options that we had sold we were able to close out for nice profits. However, along with the overall market, Verizon has been declining over the past few months. And as a result, if you notice in the red box that on August 15th, the third Friday of August, $50 put options, they were assigned to us. Here you see the daily chart of Verizon on the day that the stock was assigned to us. Notice at the white arrow that it appears Verizon was most likely going to go up and retest its previous resistance, which was right around $46.5 per share. So I decided to wait a couple days to see if it would retest that resistance and possibly even retest the green 50 moving average for resistance. Now I fast forward the chart to August 18th, the day that we sold a covered call option against this position. At that point, I knew we needed to be creative in order to repair this position. We had been assigned the stock all the way about $50 per share or just below the red 200 exponential moving average. Notice where the white arrows are, the Verizon was in a pretty strong downtrend. On August 18th, it actually gapped down from $46 per share all the way down to $44 per share. If we had sold the $50 covered call option, we would have only gotten a few pennies for that call option and it wouldn't have been worth it. So what can we do with this covered call position to collect as much cash as possible and still set ourselves up to win long term? Since Verizon is trading for around $44 per share, as you can see here in the trade alert I sent out to my patrons, as soon as we did this trade, I decided to sell the at the money, third Friday of September, $45 covered call option. As you can see in the purple rectangle, for those options, we're paid 59 cents per share. Our risk would be if Verizon took off and went past our $45 covered call option strike price. If that happened, we couldn't roll the covered call strike price up, then we'd be forced to sell Verizon at $45 per share, or $5 per share less than what we had bought it at. However, that didn't bother me too much for two reasons. First, as you can see in this daily chart, Verizon was showing great weakness. So I believe that if it didn't go up, it most likely find resistance around its previous high, which is around $46 per share. The other reason was as you can see in the bottom right corner in the purple box, our out-of-pocket cost for these shares of Verizon was well under $45 per share. At the bottom, you see that we've done a couple more trades since this one. So now our out-of-pocket cost for the 300 shares that we own is only $39.46 per share. If Verizon had been caught away from us at $45 per share, we'd actually be ahead in this overall position based on all the options we've sold over the past couple years. So the trick I'm showing you here is that when you have a covered call that's gone against you and the stock appears to still be weak, if you see an area that will most likely serve as resistance for it, you might consider selling a covered call option below the strike price that you bought the stock at. 
It might even be the best decision to sell the covered call option at the money or possibly even in the money if the stock is still looking very weak. This is a special trick that we use, especially in a bear market like we're in right now. And as such, this is a strategy that we've used multiple times over the past couple months. Is this a strategy we like to use? Well, absolutely not. We much rather have all of our positions performing perfectly, but we're also realistic and know that as stock and option traders, markets, they aren't going to do what we like them to do all the time. And when they don't and we're in a covered call, this is a trick that we like to use to raise some cash to help offset some losses in positions or to give us the ability with that cash to trade in new positions that have the potential to be even more profitable or even to buy some stock outright. You see, we've been buying stock outright aggressively in our outright stock ownership account. Now, the second trading tip that I want to share with you is a very creative way to fix a cash secure put option that's gone against you. Here you see the daily chart of Royal Gold ticker symbol RGLD. As you can see here on June 3rd, after Royal Gold found strong support for about two weeks around 112, I decided to sell some out of the money cash secure put options at the 110 strike price. For that, as you can see here in the purple rectangle, we received $2.65 per share. However, things didn't work out according to plan. Sometimes you make a good trade and bad things happen. Fast forward about a month later, and here you see that in the purple box that on July 12th, we pulled out and used one of our cash secure put option repair tricks. We rolled that July 110 cash secure put option down to the September 105 put option and actually walked away with 85 cents per share. However, Royal Gold wasn't finished declining. Fast forward to August 31st, and as you can see at the white arrow, Royal Gold had just made a new lower low and it was doing that on very high volume. So I knew that we definitely needed to be in repair mode with this cash secured put option position. When I looked at the chart, I noticed that the white arrow at the 105 area appeared to be serving as support for it back in June and in early July. And then once Royal Gold broke below that 105 area, it began to serve as resistance for it. So I felt pretty comfortable selling a call option at that 105 price. Here you see the trade we did. In the purple box, you see that I told my patrons that we sold the Royal Gold October 21st bearish call credit spread. We did that by selling the $105 call option and bought the $125 call option with the same expiration date for protection. In all, as you can see in the blue rectangle, we put 96 cents per share into our pocket. That 96 cents per share helped put some cash to our pocket and also helped us continue to repair this position. The next day on September 1st, since we had sold two cash secure put options at the 105 strike price, and on August 31st, we'd only sold one bearish call credit spread, I decided to go ahead and sell another bearish call credit spread in Royal Gold. So as you can see here in the purple rectangle, we sold the $100 call option and bought the 125 call option for protection. And as a result, we put another $1.16 per share into our pocket. Fast forward to today, August 11th, and Royal Gold has been bouncing around between $85 and $100 per share. And as you can see here at the white arrow, today it closed at $94.82 per share. So as of right now, both of the bearish call credit spreads are out of the money. But with earnings coming up, I don't want to be in these bearish call credit spreads. So here you see the order we are trying to get filled before next Friday when these options expire. Up top, you see that we're trying to buy back both the October 21st $100 and $105 short call options. In the third line, so we're also trying to buy back the two October 21st 105 cash secured put options. And at the bottom line, you see we're trying to roll those cash secured put options out to January 20th, which is 100 days away, while also rolling them down to the $100 strike price. We're trying to do all of this for a net credit of $1.30 per share. But as you can see here, right now Interactive Brokers is saying that it will cost us $1.72 per share to get this order filled. Since we have about a week and a half until expiration, we're going to let this order just sit out there and slowly adjust the price as expiration nears. My top priority and goal if possible is to be out of these bearish call credit spreads in Royal Gold when it announces earnings. So we'll adjust this position in some form or fashion before expiration day, which is next Friday. When you have a cash secure put option that's gone against you, of course you want to try to roll that strike price down of that cash secure put option. But you might also consider selling some call options against the in the money cash secure put option. In this example, so we've been able to collect some nice premium over the past month, which has helped decrease our potential losses and ultimately turn this losing position back into a winner. Now let me show you exactly how much cash flow we generated last month by selling options and collecting dividends. At the bottom of the sheet in the blue box, you see that as a result of selling options, we put a net of $23,523 cash into our pocket. In the orange box, you see that trading commission cost us just over $130. 
And the green box is that we received $1,395 in dividends from the six covered call positions that we are in. In the purple box is that data fees were $32.75. At the bottom in the black box is that we were paid just over $491 in interest for the cash we have sitting in our account. So in all, we put a net of $25,246.92 cash into our pocket in this main option trading account. If you analyze that return on the approximately $1 million we had at risk, it equates to a 30.7% annualized non-leveraged return on capital. If you're curious about what the return was based on the required margin of $162,319, it equates to a 189% annualized return on margin. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we do trades, similar to the ones I showed in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. The best option strategy I've found over the past 20 years of trading stocks and options is our upgraded version of the option world strategy. If you'd like to see how we've taken the option world strategy and modified it to consistently put cash into our pocket every single month, check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled The Option Will Strategy. In that video series, I go into detail and show real life examples of how we modified the optional strategy to achieve awesome returns every single month. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.